Hello everybody, welcome back to Mr. B channel. In this video, let's talk about remote desktop and more specifically, I will show you the team Uber Android app running on a desk station and how you can connect to uh, your work or home computer from anywhere in the world. I have a home computer, well, upstairs in a spare room that is 24 seven constantly running and this is how it looks like. It's not a good cable management, but it just got the stuff done. It's running Plex server. It's uh, constantly backing up all the devices to the white um, external, which is uh, WG My Cloud. It's always backing up all this as soon as me, my computers or my, my girlfriend's computer connects to the Wi-Fi, it automatically backs all the files to that hard drive. But let's say I am out and about and more specifically like I'm in office and I need to connect to my home computer and do, I don't know, image editing on the Photoshop or just see why suddenly I lost connection to my, my cloud or I need to download or upload some files to my home computer while I'm still out and about. So um, let me show you how, I, how I'm doing this. For this video purpose, I set up the Microsoft Remote Desktop functionality, which is right now showing me that computer, which is in a spare room. Uh, about Remote Desktop or specifically Microsoft App Remote Desktop Client, I will show you in another video. But this is just to basically, instead of me running back and forth with the camera to the computer screen up there and trying, showing you all recording and stuff, I decided to quickly do a Remote Desktop and uh, I will show you how all this Microsoft thing um, is working in the next video. In this video, let's focus to a team viewer. So this is my computer, <clears throat> obviously Windows 10, no problems at all. Um, how to get team viewer on your computer? You need to set it up as a host. Your home or office computer needs to be set it up as a host. It's more like um, an intended connection must be available. So. I'll start from the beginning, I'll go to a Chrome browser or you need to go to your home or work computer and go to home browser and just search for word team viewer. The first link teamviewer.com slash en, I go in there and I choose download and I choose team viewer to download. You can choose either of these operating systems, our um, OS, Windows, Mac, Linux, Chrome OS, Android, iOS and the Windows apps and Blackberry. I'm gonna choose Windows, scroll down, and download TeamViewer. That's download TeamViewer already. It says already exists, so I'm gonna select this and overwrite the, the file. So it's downloading right now. Let's leave it to download. Only 15 megabytes, it's nothing. It's downloaded, let's click on it, opening a setup file. Right, the settings. Basic installation, installation to access this computer remotely, unintended. That's what we are here for, because I want that computer upstairs to be accessed by me anytime. Because if I'll choose, let's say this, every time I try to access my home computer, on the home computer screen will pop up a small message saying Mr. P is trying to connect and it's going to count down from 30. Somebody needs to be here to actually go and click on allow or yes, but I don't want to do that. So I'm going to click install to access computer remotely unintended. And obviously I'm using for uh, personal use. I'm not doing any business here, anything. <clears throat> so accept. Uh, Microsoft, uh, Microsoft, let's say administration rights to this uh, program, yes. Um, I tend not to click either of these. I don't really want to use remote print because I don't have a printer home. Use TeamViewer VPN. I don't use TeamViewer VPN. I set up my own, which I will show you in a video with remote desktop, Microsoft Remote Desktop app. Uh, in that video, I'll explain to you why I'm using VPN. And Outlook, I don't use Outlook at home at all. So I'm going to leave these unticked and I'll just click finish. And it's installing. So let's wait until all this installs. Extracting tvfiles.7zip probably. 
going through all the files, downloading, copying, and etc. Just leave it running. And when it's done, it should automatically pop up. So click next. Right, Mr. P server, I need to create a password if I'm trying to log into this computer from anywhere in the world. So I'm just gonna create a password and click next. I already have an account, so let's log in. And when you set up a team viewer account, which you, you can do by here if you're going on the website and logging, it should give you an option to actually sign in instead. Um, I don't yet have a team viewer account. You click on that, you set up that account, you use your use um, a working email address because this is the important. So what happens every time you're trying to connect to Team Uber from a computer that you not used before or device you not used before, Team Uber will ask you to verify that and they will send you a link to your email address saying that somebody's trying to access your Team Uber host computer from that IP address at about like say 7:40 a.m. today. And if it's you, you click allow, and from then you will have access to a Team Viewer account or Team Viewer host computer from that device. Obviously, there is a tick. Always allow, because remember this computer is a safe computer, and just to tick that. Let's say you have a computer in office that you only you who are using that. So when you're connecting to your Team Viewer account, you need to authorize your home computer, work computer workstation, work computer as a safe device and just put the tick next to always remember this device and for, uh, from then you don't need to worry about authorizing every time you're connecting but if you're trying to connect from somewhere let's say in a public place like a coffee shop like an internet cafe just connect it and delete it afterwards and even I suggest when you're using a public place you go to Chrome browser click on incognito window then nothing is going to be saved. It doesn't matter how many times you log in through here. As soon as you close this, all your history is being deleted. So I suggest to use incognito mode in a Chrome browser if you're using Internet CAF to connect to your team viewer account. Right. So uh, back to this. Keep me signing in. Yes. What? I can't remember my password. Okay. I might reset my password lately. Oh, I probably know why. Oh no, that's fine. So <clears throat> I connected, and obviously, because I already used uh, my home computer to connect to Team Viewer, it's not asked me to authorize that again because it's press ticked and it's all fine. So this is some devices that I was messing about, which I need to delete because they're not working. They were for another video, which I was. Well, I'm planning to publish in the near future, but doesn't matter. So, remote, it gives me an option. This is my ID and this is a password. If I want to just one stop to allow someone to connect, let's say my friend, uh, I need a help on, let's say, I don't know, for example, something's wrong with my Photoshop app and my friend has got more experience than I am. So, he's got the loads of Team Uber and I give him his ID, this ID, and this password, and then he connects. And this is resets every time you close the app. So next thing, I have this running. So right now the host computer, or my home computer, is right now connected to my Team Viewer account. So let's minimize this and let's exit the Microsoft Remote Desktop app. So it says connection terminated and close that. We back to a deck station. Now on a deck station, you need to go to Google Play Store and search for Team, oh my God, Team Viewer Remote Control. That's the one you need to download and do the same again. You open the app, you sign in, it's probably gonna ask you to authorize the connection if you're using the Team Viewer on your Android device for the first time. You go to your email, click on the link, add to a trusted devices, all done, and then you can open this app and do remote connections. So because I already downloaded, I'm just going to click open and let's close this. Allow. Right. Connections. Where is my sign in? 
computers. Right. On the bottom, connections, if that partner sends you an ID, so you just put that ID, remote control, it's ask you to enter password, you ask your friend for password, you press you enter the password successfully, press connect, you can access your friend's computer, no problem. Because uh, I want to connect to my device constantly, so it's under computers and contacts, under remote. This is the com home computer, which is up there in the spare room. So I'll just click connect and it's connected. And bingo, I'm connected to my Windows 10 computer, which is at home. So I punch, oh, right. The first thing that sometimes happens with a team viewer, the numpad on the keyboard don't wanna be recognized, don't recognize the numpad is on. So if I'm pressing the numpad keys, nothing's happened. I need to click num lock and then for instance, my pin, and it connects, and that's where we left. Obviously, using a short a keyboard shortcut keys set up by Dex Hub, I can go a full screen, click the close, and there's options on the bottom. And basically, that's it. That's me running um, or connected to the home computer from anywhere in the world using a Team Viewer. I have options to enable or disable the keyboard on screen. So like uh, <clears throat> up, control, alt, and etc. Which is you don't really need that for that station because you already have a keyboard connected. But that's if you're using on the Go mobile device on the screen. Obviously, uh, click or touch. I'm gonna leave a well mouse point or touch. I'll leave a. So this is a right now with a touch control, but I'm just gonna click on the on the user mouse. So that's why I can click on all these things. Let's say like I can click on login. Settings, I can send it to that device. If I need to, for example, remotely um, restart the device, I click reboot remote computer and it's gonna reboot the new, uh, my home computer within 30 seconds. Block remote user input. So if I click that, I, will be able, I won't be able to even do anything. And this is sort of like a self lock. Lock the computer so it goes back to a logging screen and control delete. Obviously, if you're doing something and uh, let's say you want to go to a task manager, that's what you need to do. You need to click here and then control delete and it sends to uh, the, <clears throat> let's say, control delete screen and then I can click on a task manager and that's when I can go to a task manager. Uh, this is, I believe, okay, the, the starts, the switch apps, snaps, add commands. It's, it's loads of things you can do. You can set it up, let's say, um, start. So instead of basically hunting for a key on a keyboard, if it's not working or on a touch screen, you press Windows and start on this device. Basically, this is mimics the Windows key on a keyboard. And the last thing is settings. So quality, that's the resolution, best fit. Let's, let's try to change to best fit. Probably it will crash. I don't know. Bingo, that's it. So. It's a full screen Windows remote desktoping using a team viewer. And the last thing is, I believe, to minimize the bottom line. So right now I have the quite a good actual resolution, to be honest. And uh, why um, you should, well, why team viewer use it? Yeah, it's free. It is loads of actually remote desktoping apps, but I found out that Team Viewer is quite reliable and it's free and it's easy to set up and it's pretty much like as you saw on the page, nearly nearly all the iOS or all the OS, all the operating systems are have well, they have a Team Viewer um, app available. So from Chromebook, I can go and connect to my home computer using a Chromebook. If I'm a CAF, I don't need to use the public computer. I just open this up. I go to the um, Play Store, because it's available a Play Store in here. Uh, under Play Store, I go on there, download Android app, or you can actually, if you back to the, um, back to the, for example, if you are in a cafeteria, I'll show you now. I go to incognito, Viewer. If you're in a CAF and, and you're using a public computer, you go to uh, Team Viewer. Click login. I'll probably, because it's a incognito, 
is not saving any of my uh, credentials. So I will show you what I mean by, you see this, keep me sign in. So if you're in a calf, you untick this, but if you in the computer that you trust and you're the only one who can connect to it, please tick, keep me sign in. Okay, it's buses, bus here, bus here, verify. All right, there's more buses. That's mini bus. Okay, sign in. You see, you need to verify this account for you to actually exit. So if I'll go quickly to my inbox. Let's, let's go through my quickly emails and uh, Okay, you see, Team Uber, I was messing about yesterday. So I have seven emails where it says Team Uber sign is, uh, is needs to be uh, authorized. And that's the link. I click on the link, it jumps straight to a Team Uber page. Add this device, yes, add this device. And now if I go back to the incognito mode, I say, I'm not a robot. And it says, car, there is no vehicle street sign okay and click sign in <clears throat> now because this computer is authorized temporary because i'm using computer mode it will delete my history and i am uh not take uh give me sign in is nothing's gonna happen obviously the first one as you can see that's the one that i uninstalled prior to this video so let me go and to completely delete the server so if click connect, <clears throat> remember to choose it in the, the, the open and it opens the app. So I can go and remotely connect to my remote computer. And sometimes what it does, for some reason, I don't know why, but when you click connect, it will give you an option. Do you want to download the Android or download the Windows software to the computer? or use a Chromebook extension. Chromebook extension is like a, a website, is like a Chromebook plugin. New extension Chrome, Chrome. <clears throat> it's like a plugin for your Chromebook browser, a Chrome browser, that's the one, which if you install on your work computer, you don't need to download any more software. Everything happens within the browser. So, but I suggest to use a, <clears throat> excuse me, I suggest to use a, a program instead of a plugin because a plugin is a bit buggy. Um, it's crashed on me a couple of times and it's not very good um, workflow or let's say quality of the connection because right now, as you can see, it's a proper speedy. Obviously, I connected to the same network, but let's say um, if you have a decent broadband speed in work and in home, you will feel like it's going to be a seamless connection and nothing's going to happen. So basically, like I said, that's how I use um, while I am in office. I connect my phone to a deck station in office or even I'm going to office computer and connecting to the Chrome browser through a Chrome browser. And then I just have my Photoshop running and obviously I can mess about and do all the, all the nice things. And as you can see, keyboard shortcuts working, no problemo. Let's close that up. So this was a team viewer on a deck station. I hope I covered enough for you to try and enjoy remote desktoping. So instead of buying multiple computers in every place you go, you just have a deck station and a one decent computer at home where you keep everything. So you just remotely connect and do what you like to do. Let's say something I want to do on a deck station, but I cannot do on, um, but I can do on a deck station, but I would like to do like Minecraft. I can play Minecraft. Well, probably I'm not trying to, but torrenting and Hyper-V management. That's what I do most of the time. When I have spare time, I like to mess about with the virtual machines. That's a probably talking too much now. <laughs> Right, yeah, um, Team Uber, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you, if I missed something, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. Please click like or please 
hit this like if you not like this video and like I said if I missed anything please let me know and if you're struggling to do something and connect somehow let me know as well I will try to help you as soon as I possibly can and as a finish if I'll click on uh, this keyboard thing by right here and I click X close this connection closed it thank you very much for using the deck station or oh, Team Uber, not Deck Station, and I'm back to the Deck Station screen. Thank you, and I'll see you next video. Bye bye.